हाई गुड इवनिंग गाइज वेलकम फॉर टूडेज लाइव सेशन एट एडवाइज इंटरनेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म लेट्स फीड वेट फॉर फ्यू मिनट्स फॉर अदर्स टू ज्वाइन I see a few students joining so we will start the session Just wait for few minutes. मेरा स्टॉप हो गया शायद मुझे ये बताओ ना कि फेसबुक तो लाइव ही नहीं आ रहा अच्छा इसी के लिए हाई गुड इवनिंग आई एम रजनी पुरोहित हेयर वर्किंग इन एडवाइज इंटरनेशनल एज अ सीनियर काउंसलर फ्रॉम पास्ट नाइन ईयर्स लेट स्टार्ट एडवाइज इंटरनेशनल इज वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट स्टडी नीड्स Advice is India's leading overseas education consultants from past 30 years. So we have total 23 branches all across India. We offers various study abroad options globally. Today I'm going to talk about how can overseas education boost your career prospect. So study abroad provides a variety of personal and educational benefits. The benefits of study abroad can turn to be super flaws at any stages in your career. Any queries still here? Everyone can drop their queries in comments so after completing the session I'll answer them. Let's have a look at some of the major benefits of studying abroad. The first one is education. so each country and every university college have their own teaching system by which they provides a unique and broad experience to students students can earn a high quality of education and free to choose wide range of courses specializations and electives major and minors as per their area, their area of interest the second one is international exposure and networking So during overseas you can travel to new places that you otherwise might not have been able to visit because you didn't get a chance so you can also interact with the locals and get to know about their culture and lifestyle so be a part of a different community culture you will learn their culture studying abroad opens up various opportunities to build network and become friends with people from different backgrounds and countries the third one is language and communication skills 
while interacting with the locals from different parts of the world you get the opportunity to develop cross culture awareness and the ability to communicate across multiple languages barriers study in over seas education learn a new language adapt a new culture and lifestyles are some of the key factors that employers find particularly attractive in a candidate the fourth one is career opportunities and employability student will gain a wealth and of career enhancing skills and experiences that employers around the world will recognize and support when you will finish your study abroad program you will encounter two career avenues one being a lucrative job opportunity in your home country and the other relating to securing a job in the country where you are studying so if any case you would like to return back to your home country with new perspectives on cultural communication skills and students find themselves mending in their host country so well that they choose to work there only plus having studying abroad you are more equipped to handle demanding job roles regardless of the fees talking about the fifth one personal development so when you will be studying overseas you will it it helps you to learn and grow because you would be all by yourself in the foreign country you will become a problem solver get the ability to deal with unexpected circumstances navigating your way through a new country and its culture you will also develop essential life skills so basically employers often look for confidence adaptability flexibility and practical knowledge in a candidate all of these traits can be mastered by living and studying in another country in the end advice is conducting many events like virtual fairs that includes live interaction with universities directly visa sessions loan melas and many more we have next virtual fair on 15 feb where you can meet universities from canada and the timings will be 3 to directions with university representatives at advice branches advice do have i meet where student can take virtual counseling for all the countries they are planning to go for and we can solve the queries on virtual platforms so if any questions and queries I'll go to it. So yeah, Shahz, uh, he done B Com. Want to go for USA for Masters? Fine. If you are planning for Masters in USA, I would like to introduce you. Have completed your B Com. So, if you have completed your B Com, you have opportunities to study Masters, which will be a Masters of Business Administration, Masters in Business Analytics, if you have interest, Accounting, Finance, and then Project Management, Masters in Management. Uh, the degree program duration at USA will be two years. There will be some requirements. You have to appear for your competitive exams and the English proficiency exam. the nearest in intake if you have already through with your ielts and competitive exams are may or else september
any other questions guys so yash can you please ask what else uh, other question you have related usa so there is one more question like if the student is planning masters in canada so masters in canada after bba the student can apply they would be having 15 years or 16 years of education as per university requirement and uh, english proficiency exam is required along with competitive exam work experience for mba is required without gre is it possible uh, without gre definitely if we are talking about usa usa have 4000 universities so if you are planning for without gre there are still many universities who are giving waiver gre waiver to get admissions in masters but definitely if you will appear gre you might get considered for scholarships yes without gre it's possible for masters in cs in usa uh exactly what is the question masters in computer science in usa yes it's possible us is a hub of computers so definitely you can uh, the best country for computer science is to study is usa if i want to go for masters in uk if i don't want to give ielts definitely if you have studied your uh, 12th grade after bat like if you have completed your bachelors and you have 12th grade with english you have 70% and above you can go and apply to uk without ielts so yes uk is possible so i have a question that if the student has completed bba can the student can go for a stem program yes definitely student can go for a stem program because masters in finance is a stem program masters in business analytics masters there are universities who offer masters in project management is a stem program masters in management you can knock these programs if you are looking for a stem program so when will the we have a question if when will application filling starts for fall 2023 good question if the student is planning to apply for a fall 2023 the application starts near by november 2022 so in that case you have to complete your competitive exams and english proficiency examinations before november so if you will apply that time you will consider as a early applications in a early pool applications so scholarship chances are more when you will be applying early applications hathai uh, asking i want to go for a pg diploma in canada so post graduate program you would like to go definitely it's possible but before that i would like to know the profile of the candidate it's better to discuss post graduate diplomas in basically hatai can you clear your questions with what is exactly you would like to know So there is a question that I have a low GPA and a bas bachelor's in instrumentation engineering 2020 pass out and work experience of two years as a data analyst. Do I have to? 
एम एस इन विच कंट्री यू आर प्लानिंग टू गो इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू गो टू यूएसए डेफिनेटली यू हैव ऑप्शन टू गो एज अ डेटा एनालिस्ट येस यू कैन डेफिनेटली अप्लाई दो यू हैव अ बैकलॉग शुभम वट इज द स्कोप ऑफ मास्टर्स इन प्रोफेशनल अकाउंटिंग इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया सो डेफिनेटली इफ यू वुड लाइक टू गो शुभम to australia as a professional accounting you are asking about the scope so uh, here i would like to tell you that every country have a scope of every field it's just that how you will grab the opportunity how much product knowledge you have if you are going to any field and australia definitely any other questions guys I hope I have answered
Shubham, if you, your question is, what are the chances of a PR after that I have applied through advice only? So I, here I would like to tell you that either you will apply through advice or any other services. PR never depends on the consultancy. Who will be servicing you? So it depends to the points you will be having in your profile. Once you will be going there, you complete your education and your work experience. So it depends on that. So I'm extremely sorry. Uh, it never depends on the consultancy. So guys, I would also like to tell you that you can visit our office as our, all our offices are open and we are working in person with all safety precautions. So you can visit. So Shubham, you are asking, no, no, I have applied for professional accounting. What are the chances of PR for this? So Shubham, uh, you have already applied so once you will get your visas you have uh, can join your program and see there is a points based system in canada australia so once you will join and go there you start your program and you will be getting a post study work visas after completion of your program according to it you can you know uh, see check the points you have in your profile and if you don't meet the pr requirements directly when you will be going in canada you have to work on those parameters so that you know you can get it easily so there are so many factors to get the permanent residency which we can't discuss here So the student is asking, I have three years gap after BBA. Can I go for USA Masters in Finance? So uh, Radhika, I would like to tell you if you have a gap, if you are working guys i would like to tell you also that do visit our websites and follow our social media pages for all upcoming events and updates and also for other social other details regarding over
इज इट और शुड वी एंड अप द इवेंट